My name is William O'Brien, uh, and I am a rheumatologist here at Pawtucket Medical Associates. I think rheumatology has a lot to offer patients. Uh, we are generally thought of as arthritis doctors, and that's true. We see patients with joint diseases, but you get joint diseases from a lot of things. Um, and I think sometimes rheumatologists are in the best position to try to figure out what is or isn't coming from the joint or what could or couldn't be an inflammatory. And I think that's sometimes uh, a difficult thing uh, for some physicians to, to handle in, in the context of their other large, larger practice questions. I think rheumatology is an excellent resource for a, a wide range of, of, of referring physicians from your general practitioner uh, to your subspecialist who may have a question if there is a systemic or inflammatory autoimmune disease. Um, we deal with this on the acute basis if the question of gout, say someone has knees swollen. We deal with this if there's chronic joint pain and no one quite knows the best way to medically treat it, short of going for surgical repair of a joint per se. Um, so I think we have a, a lot to offer both internal medicine docs, but you know, orthopedists uh, and uh, physiatrists. Joint pain is extremely common. Uh, and I think as our populations age, um, arthritis will be you know, a major health uh, topic. Um, I think uh, the need for rheumatologists uh, will only grow with time, but I think the need for rheumatology in internal medicine will also grow. And I think that's uh, an, an important feature of rheumatology that always excited me and interested me about the field that was uh, certainly in need. I'll be located uh, currently in Haverhill uh, as a full-time rheumatologist five days a week. I'm thrilled to be joining Pawtucket. I think it's an excellent group of dedicated uh, healthcare providers. Um, I think everyone from the, uh, the desk staff to the medical assistants to the nursing staff to the higher executive staff has really been extremely supportive, um, getting me into and, and, and acclimated to the system and the culture here. There's a incredible growth potential for uh, arthritis care in this area, and I'm, th I'm thrilled to be part of it. I think my fellowship training at Brigham Women's uh, was really a valuable experience for me. I definitely developed um, important and meaningful professional re relationships, uh, both at, at Brigham Women's and at Mass General, uh, which can travel with me up to Pentucket. Rheumatoid arthritis was and is a very serious disease. We are very fortunate, I think, in this day and age to have medications that are very effective at both treating the disease as well as preventing any erosive and destructive change that previously we didn't have. I think 20 or 30 years ago, the patients were far more um, debilitated by the disease than they are today. And the generation of patients that I'm treating are certainly far better off than they were 20 years ago. I got into medicine because I really love working with people. Um, I started my training down in New York City, uh, working with a lot of underserved populations in the Bronx and downtown Manhattan. Um, I really loved the daily challenge of working with people who had real medical problems, who were either disadvantaged financially, economically, uh, access to care because of uh, language barriers. And that was really rewarding for me to be able to help them in some way deal with sometimes very complicated medical uh, problems. I think it's important that when there are patients who like because I deal, I deal a lot with a lot of patients who have joint diseases and, and oftentimes I find that they are either actively involved or interested in uh, yoga or tai chi or acupuncture. And I, I find that my own experiences with yoga help me to connect sometimes with questions or interests that they have pertaining to those topics. Otherwise, you know, I am, very active on the outside. I love to bike, ski, um, and you know, I certainly appreciate the importance of being active you know, in your private life.